holding the powerful accountable. Governor, did DEP keep you in the dark? Is the state attorney's office going to enforce the law? And getting results. Steve Andrews is Target 8. Chemo, radiation, nausea, pain. She endured it all, waiting for the state to allow her some relief. Day after day, a Tampa woman checked her mailbox for a medical marijuana ID card that never came. Her cancer and another painfully debilitating disease qualified her, but the state repeatedly rejected her application. And when she couldn't get results, Target 8 senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews began digging in to find out why. And what I found was a woman living in absolute agony at a state agency that had no real explanation for this months-long delay. It's uh, the worst pain known to mankind. Judy Durant suffers from a debilitating condition called trigeminal neuralgia. It's known as the suicide disease because there's not too many people can live with it. For five months, she's waited for the Department of Health to approve her medical marijuana ID card. I've already been certified, not only because of that, but because of I'm dealing with cancer for the last six years, mm -hmm. and I'll be dealing with it for the rest of my life. During the 33 radiation and chemotherapy treatments she just finished, Judy could have used that medical marijuana. It's something that doesn't get you high. It's something that helps you both with the pain and the side effects from chemo. Judy paid $150 for a doctor's exam, $75 for the state application fee, $20 for a passport ID photo, which the state rejected. Well, I didn't know you can't wear glasses, so I went and I got another passport photo. The second photo denied, and so was this one, the third she sent in. There's nothing wrong with it. In November, I told you Janice Michalski waited two months for her ID card. Lisa Alfonso waited three. Dr. Laura Brown relayed thousands of patients experience delays. The patients are the ones that are suffering. The state claims the biggest reason for delays are problems with photos sent for IDs. So on Monday, I sent Judy's photo to the Department of Health and asked why it was rejected. The next morning, Judy got this email. Well, first of all, I thought it was another re re rejection letter. Yeah. But then I said, wow, I got my medical marijuana card. Thank you so much. I'll be a big fan of Channel 8 from now on. Uh, oh, you were before? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, I sent the same picture Judy did. So what changed? Why the sudden stamp of approval? The Department of Health says it can't comment on an individual patient's application status, but it did say, a picture has to be sent in without any shadows. That, that one looked pretty clear to me. But amazing what happens once you jump in. You know, thank goodness she got her card. Hopefully she'll get some relief. All right, thanks, Steve. I want to get back to our...